the second annual I Am Her Feminine Hygiene Drive, supporting young ladies from Ghana, Africa, in need of everyday essentials and feminine hygiene products, was a great success. Thanks to the generosity of our community and organizations like Period.org, Muskegon Heights Public School Academy, Confident Cosmetics, Muskegon Heights Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Inc., and everyone who made a contribution. Hundreds of young ladies and village members received essential items. The community made a lasting impact with more than 10,000 sanitation items donated. If you would like to help, donations can be made year-round by dropping off items in the donation shed at the Maze and Wright Media Center, located at 1877 Peck Street, or making a contribution to paypal.me backslash 1037thebeats. For more information, call 231-727-5007. Thank you for supporting I Am Her Foundation. All right, family, joining me today at 98.5, the Wire, the voice of Pine Hills and Metro Orlando, former Major League Baseball player, the one and only Jamal Weeks joined the conversation. How you doing today, sir? I'm awesome, PA. How you doing, man? Appreciate it. Doing good, man. That's doing good. It's good to see you, man. You still look like you like you still got it, bro. I'm, I mean, you know, I think it's still in there, bro. I just I took a step back real quick for uh, personal health reasons and things uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I thought I got done playing in Mexico, but I've been swinging a little bit. I think I still got it in. Wow. And to folks who don't know, uh, go ahead and name the teams you played for. Played for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, went from there into the Baltimore Orioles. Played in the big leagues with the Boston Red Sox and the San Diego Padres. And I suffered an injury right before the Chicago Cup. Right. And, you know, uh, we, see, we, see, we see a decline in uh, black kids playing in uh, baseball. Why, why do you think that is? Black kids from America. Uh, the Dominican kids got it. Well, they know. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I think it's multifold. You know, a lot of people go to the, the glaring issue, which is sport is expensive in itself. Um, just to be able to purchase a bat, purchase a glove, could be $50 for a high quality glove, might be $80 to $100. Same thing with the bats, $100, $150, you know. And then the playing certain tournaments and showcases, there's some of the elite ones where you're paying $900 for the weekend, you know. Um, so that's always going to be a grand factor. But also, if you look at the big league level in the major leagues, it being 4% maybe black um, inside the major leagues. So that situation doesn't give our youth an opportunity to see the players as something they can be. You know, they have to be able to imagery and, and have that in their imagery. So it's important for people like myself, my brother, uh, my father, uh, the Gordons, everybody within Central Florida and those all around um, that have any ties to the black community to make sure that baseball and softball is, is definitely talked about and, and sparked back if it's dying in that area. And that brings us to the conversation why we have you on today. Uh, we Fam United, your organization, uh, teaches kids uh, life skills and also you, you, you deal with the sports component. Tell us about it. Yeah, so we started the program, uh, baseball and softball with nonviolent life skills. And what we do is uh, we curve their mentalities for just having their moral character um, towards the direction of unity, team bonding. Um, we push towards the code of conduct that we have. Within the code of conduct, there is a GPA requirement. They also must complete uh, home chores at home, which we have forms that are signed by the parents. They also must be on time and attendance as well. So these are ways that we're able to impact the character and impact what they're doing in the classroom through using the game of baseball and softball. And the intention there is that each child, once they leave this program, uh, they're able to suffice and, and be efficient inside any little league, any opportunity that they have once they leave this program to be able to further their baseball and softball careers. Um, more importantly, uh, we are still working with the county in partnership with um, extending this program into something that's more year long. Wow. Um, to talk about the collaboration with the county and, 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 and why you wanted to get on radio. Um, recently, you got a grant from the county, right? Or you Correct. And to reach more kids. Uh, how is that going and what can we do to support? Well, it's going well. To, to, to start off, it's going very well. 
Uh, we, we do have full capacity. We're at 50 plus um, on the waiting list. And so we've, uh, we've been able to experience a, a great impact so far. Um, with this opportunity that we have in partnership with the county, also in partnership with uh, the Roots Brothers Foundation, um, it's given us access to the funds and the opportunity to get the kids high quality um, bats, gloves, um, pitching machines, L screens. Um, if you know the game of baseball, you understand these are things that just are not found inside of our communities, but they are a part of the game heavily. Um, we want to run successful practices and really show the kids the way that the game is played. Um, it's also allowed us to reach to be able to get to the parents and to get to the community to be able to make the voice louder, um, that there's another way, another avenue, another vehicle for our youth and for the community to get behind um, that we believe that we can um, prove high success in the long run. Well, we're joined by Jamal Weeks, former Major League Baseball player. Was it hard being in the league, man? Is it was it was it was it tense there, man? What what is it like, man? You know what? It's uh, if you know, it's that thing. You know, PA. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you get to that level and, and you're trying to get ready, it's a beast. It's going to eat you up. Um, but for me, it was more so being within your inner self as much as possible. There's a lot of distractions at that level. So you have the fans. You got 30,000, 50,000 fans at that level. Everybody's watching you. And if you're so into what the fans are doing and into what the coaches are thinking, everything on the field, um, that's a big beast. When 50,000 people know everything is on you. Um, so it's, I think that was the biggest test in the big league. But I mean, the lifestyle, man, is amazing. I mean, the opportunity that you get there is amazing. Um, the lifelong friendships, the partnerships, things that are even gonna help out this program in a sense. It's just going to really blossom from relationships that I've made um, playing baseball, major leagues, but even before that, minor leagues and college as well. Just going all the way back to uh, my life, all of those relationships have played a major part in where I'm at today. Well, okay, I think I got a couple images here. What what is happening right here, man? Oh man, yeah. Well, right here you have Coach Eddie Willis, who is our nonviolent life skills coach. We gather the youth up together um, at the end of practice and also at the beginning. And that's where we have the, the group communication and group discussion. And the kids say a thing uh, about being a soldier and that they are somebody and that, um, you know, the empowerment of what Coach Eddie Willis put together. So that's all the coaches surrounding, listening to the kids, you know, re uh, reiterate what the coach is saying in a positive manner. And we have an, another image here. Yes, sir. That's another image where those are a group of our older guys you see there that are um, kneeling down. And then we have another component where we're talking to them. And this is where they are learning. This is the beginning of the day where they're learning exactly what they're going to go through today and the attitude that we're going to approach it with, the energy that we're going to approach it with. And that's how we begin the day. We got an online comment from um, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, Benita Thurgill says, wonderful. Thank you for both reaching back while giving back to our youth and community. Um, Thank you. How, how can people connect uh, with you, Jamal uh, Weeks, and how can they be a part of your program? I know it's in Orange County. Uh, that thing, it needs to expand. You know, it needs to expand outside of Orange County. You maxed out in Orange County, so that means you know you got to expand. How can they tie and connect with you? Uh, well, you can find us on Instagram at WeFam underscore org. That's at WeFam underscore org. You, we also have a website, www.wefam.org. If you would like to support us via donation, uh, we do have a text to donate, which is text WeFam, W-E-F-A-M, to 41444. Uh, we also have Facebook, I forgot to mention, and that is at WeFam Nonprofit. At WeFam Nonprofit for that. Anything else you want to share? I know you got a busy schedule. You got the podcast you're doing. You're teaching baseball, teaching life skills. What else you doing, man? Man, you know what? I, I just really drove my energy towards the youth space, bro. And, and you know, my, my, my youth, my kids, they play softball. Um, I feel like the, the girl community. Um, needed some love in that component as well. 
We looked at, you know, diabetic rates inside of our neighborhood. We looked at obesity rates inside of our neighborhoods. And um, I'm all in, you know, in this direction. So I live it. You know what I mean? I live it. So tell me this, man. What did you do with that first big check you got? Man, well, I bought a house. <laughs> that was the first thing I did. I tried to stay home, but my mom, <laughs> she said, you got enough money to get a battery. Uh, uh, you got, we, we you got put out. out. <laughs> we got on out of there. Got me a house, man. Got me a nice car. Um, and then I just put money away. Um, and I started trying to learn from myself uh, the right investments. I did make a couple investments that I was not too happy about into, you know, the wrong individuals and you know, things that you're going to learn at that point uh, throughout the time. But overall, yeah, I went into my house, I went into a car, and then I went into, you know, stock, mutual funds, things of that nature. That's good. Now, your middle name, bro, you got to help us out oh, with your middle man. name. It, it looks African, I so know I know it means that. something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad, my dad gave me my name. My dad gave me my name. Uh, it's Arabic. So my name is Jamal, which is derivative of Jamal. Uh, from what I'm told, meaning handsome righteous one. From what I'm told, we have to look that up. Okay. Um, and then my middle name is Kyle. I don't even know what that is. Ah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I know he came up with it. I know it means, I know it has some type of uh, nature to it. But my dad's very deep into the, uh, the Arabic and, and African history, African culture. That's good. That's good. Yeah. He's a good man. He's a good Absolutely. man. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, he is. All right. Uh, Jamal, anything else you want to share? Um, no, nah, just that. I, I just hope that everybody would just follow us. The journey is really heavily promoted on social media. Just continue to, to push that they follow um, at WeFam underscore org on Instagram and at WeFam non on Facebook. And uh, just any way that everybody sees a way to support this mission or wants to know more about this mission, go to those sites or just you can pull up. Uh, every Friday through Sunday, we've been at Rolling Hills Baseball Complex. Friday, 5.30 to 7.30, and also Sunday, 3.30 to 5.30. And then Saturdays, we've been going to All-Star Sportsplex and out to Mount Springs. And they can catch us there at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And we're there faithfully. We're training the kids, giving them the life skills, and uh, we would love the community support. There you go. Jamal Weeks, Major League Baseball player, um, back in Orlando, giving back to the community. He, You could be somewhere playing all over the country or all over the world or coaching somewhere, but you haven't gave up uh, on the kids here in your community, man. And you're still young. Still young. Still young. Still young. Yeah, you're not even in your 40s yet. You're not even, exactly. you're not, you're not even close yet. <laughs> not yet, bro. Not yet. We're on our way, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, worry, right. We'll keep in contact with you, okay, man? Proud of you, man. It's an honor to know you, and we're looking forward to uh, – the Wire's looking forward to being a media sponsor in, in, with some of your endeavors. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would love to. I really appreciate the love, bro. And shout out to Paul Porter as well. For yes, connecting. for making the connection. Absolutely. All right, All right, All right Jamal. Peace and blessings to you, good brother. Peace and blessings, bro.